I have been hearing a lot of complaints about sunscreens making you dark, and I'm here to confirm that yes, sunscreens can make you dark, but it is only temporarily. And here is why so your sunscreen might be making you dark. First of all, there are different types of sunscreen. There is chemical sunscreen and there is mineral sunscreen. The lot of sunscreen that we Nigerians know is mostly chemical sunscreen, especially if it is coming from a Korean or Japan brand. Most of them are chemical sunscreen. And we do have eye bridge sunscreen, which is a combination of both mineral and chemical sunscreen. But then the reason why your sunscreen is making you dark can fall into three categories. First of all, you are using a chemical sunscreen, a chemical sunscreen that contains oxybenzone. Oxybenzone is one of the skincare ingredients used to formulate sunscreen and it can sometimes cause temporarily skin darkening. If you know that your sunscreen is making you dark, you might want to check out for that ingredient. Another reason why your sunscreen might be making you dark is because some of you forget that sunscreen is not a moisturizer. And what is this? Why are you dotting sunscreen on your face? Like I see a lot of this and I hear a lot of people managing sunscreen. Minimal amount of sunscreen you're supposed to use. You're supposed to use two to three finger rules when it comes to sunscreen. So say you're managing sunscreen, at least use this much sunscreen and let it cover your ears and neck so that you don't think you're wearing sunscreen when you're not. The third reason why sunscreen might be making you dark is because you're using mineral sunscreen. I know mineral sunscreens, a lot of people do not know, but mineral sunscreens do not work on people of color, especially if you are from the part of continent that I am. It contains zinc oxide and titanium that other that tends to leave white cast on the skin. When you go into the sun with that kind of cast, it's going to cause your skin to temporarily darken. So to help you with this matter, to help you choose the right sunscreen, I'm going to be recommending sunscreen to you guys. So I have tried like minimum of about 20 different sunscreens so these are the only empties i can find right now so i'm going to be recommending sunscreens for different types in this video if that sounds like what you're interested in please continue to watch this video so if you have combination skin like me i'm going to be starting with people with combination screen these are the sunscreens that i will recommend those that i have personally tried that i think are really great so the first one is this barrier sunscreen as you can see i use three bottles that's because it is that good you might want to try out this sunscreen i did not like this sunscreen at first because of the formulation it was so watery and it was looking like mismatch for my skin look at it is it's so watery but then when i started using it like the way it just melts into your skin it is not matte or dewy it just gives you like a skin like finish and it's so moisturizing which is why i bought two other if you have combination skin so this is the first one i'll be recommending for combination skin this can also work for oily skin type as well because this does not leave either a dewy or a matte finish it's going to give you like a skin like finish it's just going to be like a moisturizer on your skin and it is so moisturizing in itself and it is 70 ml it is not a 50 ml sunscreen so yes i recommend this for both combination and oily skin so the next one i have is beauty of Joseon. this is a moisturizing sunscreen and if you are not careful with this sunscreen some people are lucky that it does not leave white cast on them and some are not but then if you have dry skin this is going to be one that you are going to love because it leaves a dewy finish and i feel like a lot of people that have dry skin tend to like sunscreen that gives them like a more moisturized look and you can even skip your moisturizer with this because it is so moisturizing and it leaves a dewy finish so yeah i would recommend this for people with dry skin but people with oily or combination skin, I don't know if dewy sunscreen is your type, then you might want to check this out. But if not, you can pass. So this one for me is a 50-50. This is Atomogi sunscreen. This leaves a dewy finish, but then it stings the eyes. So if you are looking to save money, you might want to get this one. But then avoid using it around your eyes area because it's going to sting it so bad. And this also leaves a dewy finish. So I believe people with dry skin will benefit some more from this. Or if you just like dewy finish, if you like your skin shiny, like the Aurora look, the one I have on, then this might be your best bet. Yeah. And this is going to even save you a lot of money because it is 250 mil. To get to 15 mil size on screen you have to have connection so i'm plugging into this atomuki they have dry skin and yes 
it is such a lovely sunscreen it contains spf 50 plus as most of the sunscreen i'll be recommending anything below you're just wasting your money so the next sunscreen we are going to be talking about is this tokobo by aluronic acid and this sunscreen contains spf 50 as usual all of the sunscreens that i've been recommending contains spf 50 and all of them are chemical sunscreens i personally do not have any mineral sunscreen in my stash pick them as much as i can and i also do not do sunscreen below spf 50 because why why would i want to put myself through that when i can get spf 50 so this one will work for all skin types in my opinion dry skin will benefit from it because it contains a lot of hydrating ingredients it also does not leave a dewy finish depending on your skincare routine so if your routine is more like minimal on hydrating and moisturizing you might not get a dewy finish from this but if you are somebody that likes to go in on hydrating products then this will most likely be a dewy finish but i also want to add that you can also skip your moisturizer with this sunscreen because it already contains a lot of hydrating and moisturizing ingredients that makes it easy for you to skip your moisturizer when you use particular sunscreen to show that i like the sunscreen i also have in another variant which is a newly launched from this brand see you guys so this one is a this is brand you guys they contain different ingredients this one also is non-comedogenic and it also leaves a three seconds cooling effect on your skin that means you are the type that actually sweats it reduces your skin temperatures so this one has a slightly thicker texture compared to this this one is already empty i would have showed you the texture but this one is quite runny and this one is thick you guys can see the texture of this on camera so this one is thick and they have slightly different ingredients i hope the camera is doing justice if you ask me which one i'm going to choose i can't choose i love both of them so it just depends on what you tend to favor one time favorite and this some cut sunscreen i love this sunscreen apart from the fact that it is waterproof it also does not leave a dewy finish like this sunscreen leaves a semi-matte finish which i like to call a skin life finish it is not going to be matte like as in dry and at the same time it is not dewy it's just the this the type of sunscreen that you like and it's also so moisturizing and the cooling effect when you apply this sunscreen you just feel like a cooling sensation that makes me go to sleep i love it but some people said it tends to peel it does not peel on application for me so you might want to watch out for that this sunscreen i would recommend for oily skin types combination skin types yes you are going to love this one it's just a dry sunscreen for you skin aqua gold i would recommend skin aqua gold for people with drier skin it is more moisturizing than the first one and also dewy finish so if you have dry skin type those are the sunscreens i recommend for you so the next on the agenda is this sun by me sunscreen i also like this sunscreen because this sunscreen contains 10 10 10 different types of vitamins like when some when sunscreen just gives you the ability to be able to skip moisturizer and in that way you are saving money I, they have my heart because what do you mean i'm wearing sunscreen like i'm being protected from uv rays and uvb at the same time i'm getting moisturizing skincare benefit from this sunscreen like what more do you want so this one i recommend for people with combination skin oily skin might not really like this because it leaves a dewy finish like the dewy is dewy if somebody is going to ask me if skin are quite good yes i already talked about the good but i did not speak about the white the whites i have seen a lot of reviews and some people said it causes their skin to temporarily darken which i already mentioned why let me know if you have any other questions concerning sunscreens and i'll answer in the comments 